Hey y'all, Gregor here with a brand new snap guide. We got some amazing lists from our friend Snap Judgments, or as you may know him, Pulse Glazer. These decks did great. One was a Wiccan style deck that kind of was mid-range, also had Sandman and Eliath, as well as Magneto for the last play. We had a Typhoid Sarah list from Booty that also did very, very well, but the deck that I ended up enjoying the most, that honestly, probably some of the best win rates that I've had in a deck since doing Snap Judgment Stream Team comes from Chris. It is an Agent Hawk list and it was incredibly powerful. We ended up going 36 and 14 with this list with a 72% win rate and a net cubes of plus 47. I climbed. I am now 1,500 on the infinite leaderboard. 1,500 at all. I'm on the America infinite leaderboard. It did incredibly well. Super, super solid. As always, if you guys enjoyed these deck guides, if you get something from it, please remember to like, subscribe, comment, do all the things so the algorithm knows to push it out to more people. We are around 150 hours away from hitting ad revenue requirements, so if you can watch to the end, it is genuinely appreciated. Thank you for watching. Let's get into the deck. As always, I like to go over the MVPs in the list, the cards that stood out and often gave us win conditions. So first off, I want to go with the biggest MVP in this list, and that has to go to Juggernaut. Juggernaut was often the key win condition for holding down a lane on the last play. You're usually able to take Pryo, and you just move the other cards off into a separate lane. Up next, I'm going to go with Cassandra Nova. Cassandra Nova gave us a really good wombo combo alongside Absorbing Man. You would Cassandra Nova on three, Absorbing Man on four, and you would deal a lot of affliction to the rest of their deck. Cosmo also gets a big shout out here. Cosmo being able to stop Shang-Chi or any of that nonsense coming from our opponent. There's still a lot of Arishem being played even on the higher, like, top... 2000 infinite ladder i'm see was seeing like a ton of rsm and then the last two i have to give to iron man as well as dark hawk iron man would often be the boost that we needed also being able to show off this a beautiful kale new variant that you can get in the shop still from the web shop for three dollars crazy good bundle get it while you can it is still available and then lastly dark hawk Darkhawk would often give us crazy good play lines that you could drop on five. You could Mystique on three and then either do Cosmo or Juggernaut on six. Such a solid play line. Darkhawk eaten really good, even with the change to Rock Slide. So overall, this deck was incredibly strong. I'm probably going to be using this to climb for the rest of the season. Maybe play with Anti-Venom a little bit, but this deck is just crazy, crazy good. Let's get into the deck itself. I decided to name this list Agent Hawk Tua, and it comes from Chris. I am unfamiliar with Chris. If you all know their socials, please let me know in the replies. I will be sure to give them deck credit. This list runs Silver Sable, Korg, Agent Venom, Cassandra Nova, Mystique, Black Widow, Cosmo, Juggernaut, Absorbing Man, Rock Slide, Iron Man, and Dark Hawk. As always, I like to go over sub options. If you are missing Silver Sable, I would recommend either Spider Ham or Iceman. If you are missing Agent Venom, I would go with Kate Bishop's Hawkeye. If you don't have Kate Bishop's Hawkeye, I would go with Shadow King. Cassandra Nova, if you don't have Cassandra Nova, you could go with either Sage, Rogue, or Red Guardian. Same if you're missing, I don't know why you would be missing Juggernaut, but if you're missing Juggernaut or any of those, you could do, I would probably say Sage, then Red Guardian, then Rogue in that order. In terms of cards that are essential, I'm going to say that Mystique, Cosmo, Iron Man, and Dark Hawk are all essential in this list to get full value. So the deck runs Silver Sable, Korg, Agent Venom, Cassandra Nova, Mystique, Black Widow, Cosmo, Juggernaut, Absorbing Man, Rock Slide, Iron Man, Dark Hawk. The play lines that you're going to want to do, you want to do Korg on one if you're given the option. The reason being that the more cards that you have in your opponent's deck, when you Cassandra Nova, the more value you're going to get. Agent Venom on two, Cassandra Nova on three if available. If Cassandra Nova isn't available, you're going to go with Black Widow. The ideal play line I have found is Cassandra Nova on three, Absorbing Man on four, and then hit something like either Iron Man or Dark Hawk on five into a Mystique and Juggernaut play or into a Mystique and Cosmo play for six. So if you do not have the option to do that Cassandra play, you could do Black Widow into Absorbing Man or you could do Black Widow into a Rock Slide, get more value out of that. Again, on five, it's either Iron Man or Dark Hawk. Those are your two plays. Be sure to check your opponent's deck. If they're playing Arashem, you should always snap because you have win conditions. Cosmo stops Shang-Chi. 
Dark Hawk gets absolutely massive. Cassandra Nova just wins that. You, Cassandra Nova absorbing man. You have three lanes that it will be 20 plus power apiece. They can't compete. Instant win against RSM. And then again, the last play, it's either Cosmo or Juggernaut. I often like to do a Mystique and then hit them with the Juggernaut to move wherever they're trying to compete with out of that lane, guaranteeing you get the dub. Just sure that you are aware of priority, whether you have it or not, and be on the lookout for Eliath. Give the deck a go. I hope you enjoy it. Let's get into some games. For some reason, Martyr works for you. Martyr always ends up hurting me. She always breaks my heart without fail. How was Thanos meta? I can't imagine the zones were that good. So back then, Thanos meta was ridiculous because you had so many big cards. You had Blob, you had... Red Hulk wasn't a thing back then. Put really big bodies and you were able to use Lockjaw to bring them out. It was busted. It was absurd. The zones were decent back then. They did change them. They changed the way it works. Got good sleep. Proud of you. Yeah, you would just put the biggest bodies that you possibly could with Kyera and some other stuff. Hey, you found a rook. All right, they got negative. This is the second negative deck that we've seen today. Boom. We're going to make it annoying for you. We're going to make it as annoying as possible. Let's go, Slimes! Infinite with Darkhawk and Thena. Beautiful. Proud of you. Hell yeah. Things we like to see. So, I'm gonna Iron Man over here. Hells to the yeah. I am Iron Man. Such is Tribunal? Okay, so this is negative Tribunal. Now, do they have Jane Foster that they're gonna play next turn? Is my next question. And if so, where are they gonna play it? I'm gonna send it. Juggernaut here coming in clutch. Oh, called it! Bruh, called it! I am Iron Man. I know what nonsense you're about to do, my guy. Yes! <laughs> oh. Y'all, if you're able to, you know, even just hang in here, we are pushing for partner. So if you can leave a tab open, it goes a long way. But if you got stuff to do, go do your life things. Streams will always be around. I usually stream Mondays, Thursdays, Saturdays, and Sundays. I might do one Wednesday. We had a pretty good stream last Wednesday. So it'll be depending on how I'm feeling. Cosmo can chill over here. Did we just hit him with, uh, yeah, we did. <laughs> Victory. <laughs> Let's go. Uh, dude, I love hitting a snipe. Like, it's the best feeling where you drop something. Cosmo, another slept on card. Options. The fact that they can run every single tech card and also gets other cards just doesn't feel fair to me. Unless I'm doing, like, unless we're doing a Sunday showdown where we're all playing RSM, it's not super fair for my opponent. But if you're using it to, like, hit infinite for the first time, totally valid. I actually recommend RSM for new players. Exactly. You get the extra energy. You can also put Loki in there. Dude, Surfer's great even outside of high voltage. I like that high voltage was basically combo mode. They should have just called it combo breaker because that's what it was. Everybody was trying to hit the biggest combo they could and it was a lot of fun. That's what I'm saying. They need a card that negates extra energy. They need a tech option. There's no tech option against it. So I figured they're going to magic if they already have this in hand. But you know what? I'm just going to magic here either way. The fact that there's no tech option against it. When Loki first came out, they put out Mobius, which negates Loki. There's nothing that negates ramped out energy. I don't think they have to. I don't know. I think the Sandman change was kind of needed. Being able to play only a single card doesn't feel fair when you're playing like a bounce deck or something. Like it shuts down your last play entirely. And I do believe in hard counters, but I think making it cost more makes more sense. So we're going to rock slide here and then we're going to probably Iron Man. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, exactly. If there's no counter against it, it's not fair. You could Red Guardian, but usually... Oh, okay. That changes up our play. No, I think the Hellcount nerf was necessary. 
the fact that nobody was playing Hella until the change was made to Hellcow, and then everybody was playing Hella, and the win rate was one of the highest just because of the hell cow meant that hell cow was not good the change to hell cow was definitely needed i will die on that hill does dracula have a last card counter you could do red guardian or you could do lady death strike Bro, I have Pryo here. And guess what Juggernaut's gonna do? The Cosmo Juggernaut play last turn is crazy good. Nah, I'm just giving you all my takes. Are we still staying? Oh, I bet you re regret that, buddy. I'm guessing you're regretting that right now. And then that copies that again. We're gonna do another one. The fact that I can Juggernaut into Absorbing Man is ridiculous. And sometimes you just don't have a counter. <laughs> again, do it again. <laughs> Speaking of Lady Deathstrike, Juggernaut is such a freaking, such a good card, y'all. Because the LDS was about to hit all of these. The Church of Latter-day Saints, obviously. But sometimes you don't have a counter, and sometimes you're just up against the... Uh, as long as there are counter options, you don't necessarily have to have the counter option. But as long as they're there, that feels balanced. If there's no counter option available whatsoever, that's not fair. Corrigan 1, Agent Venom on 2, Black Widow on 3. This is another Arashim deck. Hey man, I'm and this is why I don't like Arashim. Okay, we're going to go Agent Venom. I'm not going to worry about the Wrath. Going to go with that. Cosmo Chillin. Hopefully that messes you up. Yes, it does. That's what I was hoping for. I'm going to go with that. I am also going to go Silver Sable. We're at nine right now. I'm gonna, I want to stay below. Cassandra Nova at negative zone does really, really well. We're going to hold on to that for last turn. I think I'm actually okay with Silver Sable here. Legion does nothing there. Yeah, I'm going to snap on this. So if I Iron Man here, I'm pushing out. I, I tie there. And then we do Cassandra Nova left side. Hopefully along with Juggernaut. I am Iron Man. Widow's Bite. Chantress does nothing. Hercules. Send it. Is your PC okay? Why? Why would you do that? Victory. Why would you not hold Destroyer for mid when Cosmo's out? So we have a little bit of everything. What's awesome is that our clan has gotten rewards every, like we hit it. We have a requirement in TGG Plus, you have to get 2,000 in bounties every, but in the casual, there is no minimum. I think we are going to change it to 1,000 because this 1,000 is really easy to do. But if you are interested in joining an alliance, hold on, I'll get you a link. We also have an awesome little... Yeah, no, I really like the curve on this one. That's not great for their hint monkey. We're at 8 right now. I like where we're at. We're going to go Agent Venom over here. So we could Darkhawk right side. Probably beat them. Well, they found a rock. Snap. Yeah, I'm going to snap on this because I can go Mystique over here into Juggernaut. Okay, we got priority here. Let's do that and then that and call it a day. If they try shang chi us, we move it. Uh, if you don't have Cassandra Nova, I would go with Sage. We might be in trouble there. Rules all. No, we're good. We're good. Victory. 
The math, math. Like in MTG, it's knowing when to mulligan properly. Like what deck, what you should be looking for for an opening hand. Seeing that they have X23, we're going to assume they're playing destroy. Both of these locations benefit destroy. I'm keeping that in my mind. Because it all feeds into destroy. Now, Cosmo is a counter to destroy. It's risky. Maybe we hold off. See, now I'm gonna I'm gonna play Cosmo here. It's a Tuma! They're sacrificing their Atuma at Clintar. Okay. Can't quite use it yet. It's going to give us the best value here. Even though Absorbing Man doesn't absorb anything, we're fine with it. Because we just want that raw power. Yeah, well, they lose there. Boom. Don't like how much energy they're ramping out, though. So this still might be a retreat. This still might be a retreat, y'all. I do see options. My fear here is that they null. Null here would be devastating. And if they're smart, they hold null until the end here. Nope. They just told me where I'm going to play. They just told me where I'm going to play now. Yo, Sammy, thank you for that follow. Welcome on in. So I'm going to do this, and then I'm going to do this, and I'm going to call it a day. Let's see what they got. They got to beat 22 on the left side. As a general rule, I won't usually snap on last turn. The reason being, you're more likely that your opponent is going to retreat and you're only going to get a single cube versus two cubes. I'm not 100% sure on this one. I'll usually only snap if I am like positive that I have the win. I want the throne. And this is what I was hoping for because now the boomer snap. That's why you don't do the boomer snap. Copies the Iron Man and then Juggernaut moves these two. Which guarantees we win like that. Victory. See what I mean? You see that value? I really like the tech options in this list. Cosmo has value. Juggernaut has crazy value right now. My boy. You want to know what legit fear I have? It's an irrational fear. Is being drowning within the Kool-Aid guy's liquids. Like somehow I get trapped inside of him. It's Kool-Aid guy doesn't exist, but that is a very real fear that I have. I don't think Anti-Venom is going to be a very good card. I think he's going to be very niche. I see synergies with him in Gore already. I see synergies with him in Tribunal. I already have a list in my mind of how I'm going to use him. But I usually rate, rate how good a card is based off of how flexible he is. How many different decks I can fit him into. I think it's going to be a very limited number of decks that he's going to get true value in. We're at nine there. I like that we stay at nine because we're right below where they can Shang-Chi us. And I see potential to Iron Man and Darkhawk. Yeah, but it, I would recommend saving your resources. I would not go out of my way to get Anti-Venom if I did not have, if I was looking for other cards. Like you were saying, RHM, or ne RHM Nico, Sage are all better cards that you can get. We're going to Cosmo now. I'm going to snap because this is really good for us. There you go. Yeah, if you need... So the cards that we're getting alongside Anti-Venom are Super Giant. Super Giant's a very good card that's slept on by a lot of people. Um, Alongside Ghost Spider, also a really, really good card within move lists, if you like the move archetype. So take that into consideration as well. I want to snap again, but I can't. I'm going to go Darkhawk, and then I'm going to go Iron Man. I am Iron Man. Negative two Iron Man. Yep, and then... That is going to be tough to beat, my guy. Especially because you're playing a bounce list, and we have Cosmo down. Cosmo counters a lot of the current meta. I am Iron Man. Hit Monkey's not going to pop off for them. Yeah, it's not going to be enough. Do they really have to put your muted in their game? I guess they probably won't see the fist bump because I'm muted. 
they're really, really good. Like, I, I am a fan of them. Like, Symbiote Spider-Man from The Secret Wars. I haven't posted a Anti-Venom deck yet. I already have a brew made. I'll probably make it today. I already have in my head an idea for a Tribunal deck. Okay, we're going to go Black Widow over here. Gore and Bounce. I'm thinking Gore and Tribunal, to be honest. I see synergy between Gore. Imagine you use Howard the Duck... And then you use Anti-Venom to get Gore at zero. Zero power, zero cost. He goes up in power by being set to zero. Tribunal already uses a good deal of on reveals. You could also combo it with Iron Lad. No worries, dude. I hope you are having a good day at work, my friend. I already got a cook up here. I think uh, Tr Tribunal might make a comeback. I'm saying I've already done some, uh, yeah, theory crafting with it. Let's get, okay, so I'm guessing, actually, I'm going to Sarah right now. I'm going to Sarah to determine where we're going to Cosmo here because they're doing Surfer. I'm sure they're doing Surfer. If we can take and keep Pryo. Okay. This is where I snap. The reason being, I'm going to do this nonsense. I'm going to do Cosmo into Mystique. Actually, let's change the order here. Let's go Korg, Silver Sable, Cosmo, Mystique. So this is going to ruin their entire Surfer play. They have Broodlings. They have Magic. They have Sarah. This is a Surfer deck. I'm positive. And we mess up their entire play line. If they wanted to do Wong, Wong is out of the picture now. Yep. Victory. That's a cheeky Gregor play. That's a very cheeky. You know they were going to do Silver Surfer as soon as they saw this. Shut down their entire lane. They clogged themselves left side. They couldn't do anything. It's a diamond jar full of magma. He's actually very hot to touch. See, we're creating the cryptid Kool-Aid guy right now. Probably ends up going here, or just so we can protect our monster. Like that. Or, you know what? Let's get Cassandra Nova out now. I see the option to get two off. So, Cassandra Nova now. Hey! They're also playing Juggernaut. Love it. Not even upset about that. Well, I'm going to do it again. Plus five. We also have our Juggernaut waiting to go, too. Walls do not stop the Kool-Aid guy. He is like Juggernaut, an unstoppable force when it comes to walls. I think Iron Man's the better call here. I am Iron Man. Iron Man does so well here. Are they also running dark? Are we running the same deck right now? Very similar deck. All systems go. Very similar deck. 36 power is gonna be tough for them to beat gonna be very difficult for them to compete with that juggernaut cosmo seems good to me and we're winning right side as well this is looking very solid for us we we cooking right now i really really love the border okay they also got iron man iron man they win with that we tie there we win victory that was so close. We are playing very similar decks. That scared me. How much is that by? Six versus five. A single point by literal one point. In like 40-ish minutes, we get new story reset. Are we getting any new uh, variants today? Does anybody know? Any new things I should be on the lookout for? Cassandra Nova as quickly as we can. Just like my... Vibranium Mine's also fantastic for us. With what we have, I think we go Rock Slide. Darkhawk's eating really, really good with Vibranium Mines. They're probably playing Zoo, based off what I've seen with Shanna and also Human Torch. Pandar, Typhoid, Mary, awesome. Yeah, we can win right side. They're clogged. Pretty easily win right side. So I'm going to go Darkhawk here, and then we go Mystique, Cosmo. Call it a day. They're, they keep feeding 
into our cards with vibranium mines. Just like mob. Blue Marvel. I'm cool with it. We take Pryo with that. And then, bam and bam. It'll stop your Gilgamesh. Sometimes you just gotta take that Pryo and then take the dub. Easy peasy, Sour Creamy. Her name's Sour Cream. It's funny. Victory. Another one. Like Agent Venom into Rock Slide. Or, sorry, Agent Venom into Black Widow. Better yet, Agent Venom into Cassandra Nova into Absorbing Man. You kind of just play based off of what you have in hand. Another zoo deck, I'm thinking. So I'm going to go with that, which is going to make a huge Absorbing Man. What is there? Very, very low collection level. Doesn't mean it's a sure thing for a win, but it's it's not the worst thing in the world. We have Iron Man on five, and then we do two, three costs on last turn. Again, they're playing Zoo. We love it. Okay, with that, I feel like it's going to be kind of easy. Okay, so they get plus one for each enemy card here. Let's go Iron Man here. All of their cards are hit with Affliction. Every one of them. Boom. Iron Man. 22. Did we just become best friends? Yep. Thank you for that follow. Welcome on in. It is very much appreciated. Boom. That wins us this side. And then we just put Juggernaut here and we call it a day. That's my four cubes, baby. I am Iron Man. Knowledge is power. Does not compete with it. This deck is absolutely insane. I'm not glazing. Like, this is one of the best decks I've ever played. Like, not actually useful Spanish. Cassandra Nova here. Into Abs Man at Baxter Building. This is tough. Because if you win Baxter Building, you lose Bar With No Name. Bam. I am Iron Man. And we're thinking the same thing. I have Darkhawk and I have Korg. Send it. 69 viewers, very nice. That's the correct number of viewers. Good call, Alamo. Hey, you found a rook. Yep, they thought the same thing. Thank, well, I'm very happy to say that you are a wonderful member of this community. Victory. Happy to call you a friend. Panda wants to see the ranch ice cream. Hey, man, Panda, cool. we're talking about you. Only if you're eating ribs while eating ribs while covered in barbecue sauce. Is that allowed? Is that legal? That's absolutely insane because I can do this nonsense. This absolute nonsense play. Just take the ribs, put it across my chest, and then take a bite. Get some of that barbecue off of it. Oh, we got more. We're not done yet. Rock slide because Castle Blackstone does this thing. Yup. We're on the same page, y'all. And then we can do Agent Venom into Cassandra Nova. I think I got a snap on this, y'all, if I'm being completely honest with you. We're, we're bound to get Cosmo. Even if they shang chi us, we're still in a great spot. Yeah, plus eight. Does nothing to me. Like, Iron Man and Black Widow. I can make that work. And Cosmo. Okay. So with what we got, we go Cosmo here, Black Widow here. This is absolutely absurd. 
border to line illegal. This is bullying. This is wrong. Someone call an adult. I do not count. Now they just protected my mystique. Yeah, this is illegal. Okay, what was the last card we played? Cosmo, right? Or Black Widow. Oh, no. Again? Are you kidding me? This is, this is wrong. I love that change that they made. That you're able to see the last thing you hit. Yeah, they're very salty about it, too. I'm sorry! It was there! I'm... I don't... I'm not a bully. I'm sorry. I feel like they make me feel bad for being good at the game. That was evil. That was mean. So we have a good amount of volume on this deck. Anything above 60 is a good to great deck. If you're in the 70s, I will be getting the Typhoid Mary, but after stream. It's one of my comfort shows. I'm joking. I'm joking. Dude, the number of times TikTok Live Studio is disconnected today needs to be studied. Like, it's been an absurd amount. Black Widow. Boom. Another zoo. It looks really good. I think that's a good choice. Cassandra Nova gets a six. It's funny seeing Scorn as one of the cards that Shanna pulls out. We also made a anti-venom brew. That I will be posting about. Actually, we can do Snap Fan right now. Snap dot fan Gregor's brews. <laughs> to live best and die young. Do y'all want me to go a little bit longer? We usually end about this time. Would you want me to go a bit longer? I'll leave it up to you. Vibes have been good. We're at 11 already. Yeah, because... Uh, Sample size is always good to have. To pretend. Iron Man. I am Iron Man. Those Ant Man scare me a little bit. Yeah, they scare me quite a bit. Yeah, okay. Catch you later, Zill. I appreciate you, friend. Nice clippable moment. Okay. Welcome on in, friends. Yeah, I think we just win. They're clogged here now. 21. Almost. Almost. They were a... I mean, that's a pretty clippable moment right there. I think that that's probably a good one to end on. Yeah, thank y'all for an amazing stream today, y'all. I want to thank our monthly supporters on Kofi for $10 a month. You get a shout out on every one of my YouTube videos. I would like to give a big shout out to Calvin Rankin, one of our $10 supporters. I will include a link in the description if you would like to help. It helps us with giveaways and being able to do more for the community and give back. Thank you all for watching. I do genuinely appreciate it if you've been able to make it to the end even more so because we're getting closer and closer to that ad revenue. I should have another YouTube video sometime this week. It should be the Dan Hip tier list that I have alongside Nick the Greek Geek and Perry Manilow. I have my editor working on that right now. I will see you all around. I hope you have a fantastic rest of your week. Please remember to eat food, drink water, take your meds, get enough rest, and remember the world is better with you in it. Until next time, friends, I will catch you all around.